What's up everyone? It's Brett. It's nice to see you again. Welcome to the Codiverse. This is a place where we deep dive into all things development and design and have a little bit of fun along the way. Cool. So, uh, this video is something that I actually wasn't going to make, but I ran into an issue on my Joomla website. Now, this, this is the one I actually train you guys to install in this video here. Now, I, there's a few things that I hadn't quite done or I'd gone back and changed a few things. And when I went to it today, I ran into an error and I was like, ah, oh, well, you know, may, maybe this is a good chance to actually make you a video on how to solve it. If you're new to Joomla or you're new to Joomla 4 and you ever run into an error that looks like this, it's a notice that your PHP version is not at the right level. PHP versions seem to be changing kind of year on year. So with newer technology, they obviously require newer versions. So if you are one of the unlucky ones or one of the people who have an uh, old Joomla website and you are still on the earlier versions of PHP, I probably suggest upgrading it. If you need help doing that, I will leave a link to my website in the description and you can see it here on the screen. So I will be able to help you upgrade your PHP if you hit me up on that. All right, so to change this, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into uh, my WHM. Now, a lot of you guys may not have a WHM, but you will have a cPanel or some sort of hosting on your server. So basically, I'm gonna skip all the logins and show you basically from this page here. Now, this, this page here is the main cPanel page. Now what you're going to want to do is scroll down the page and you're going to want to find something you're going to want to find something generally under the software which is called multi PHP manager. Now as you can see here there's a few websites that are already listed on my server or on the cPanel account and one of them is my partner's channel here Lacey's Artburst. So you can go check that out if you're interested in learning anything about art. Now, basically, as you can see here, there's a couple um, versions of, or well, a couple websites on here, and a few of them are running a PHP 7, and one is running a PHP 4. Now, the ones running PHP 7 are the issue at the moment because it is deprecated, which is even displayed here with a note saying that 7, 7.1, and 7.2 are deprecated, which means that they're essentially old and they're not being supported anymore, so you need to upgrade them. So to do that, basically what we're going to want to do is just select the two websites here. And up in the corner you have a selection of basically all these different PHP versions. So all you need to do is select the new PHP version. Now if you click apply, that's going to load and basically it will just run through, you know, the service process to upgrade the version, change it in the PHP any file and everything that it needs to do. And in the end, you'll get a success notice and it should be done. All right, so once that's done, we're gonna go back now to the website. As you can see, the error is here. So if we now refresh the page, basically we're gonna see our website again because the error is fixed. Uh, that was a super simple one. So if you are facing the same issues on your website, all you've got to do is visit this link on the screen, send me an email and I will help you um, diagnose that for your own website. As always guys, it's been great having you here. I hope this tutorial has helped you and I hope that it has solved a lot of your issues. If you are um, finding that you're having a few more issues on Joomla or you do need a hand, you know, comment down below with what you need a hand with. I'll make a video on it. Now, if you are interested in anything design development or any other videos like that, all you've got to do is, you know, just, just smash that subscribe button. I'm putting the subscribe here, but realistically it's gonna be down in one of these corners on your screen. So all you've got to do is do, click that, put your notification bells on if you don't wanna miss out on any future videos. And you know, if you could hit that like button, if this has been helpful, that would be perfect. That helps me, it helps the algorithm, and it makes me very happy and know that you're enjoying the content. So until next time guys, it's been a pleasure having you here and I really hope that you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Before you go, I do have a bunch of um, Joomla tutorials which will be in this playlist here or and a video that you may like down here. Now, my channel does have a lot of other videos on here so be sure to hit that subscribe and we'll see you again.